Welcome back to CBS Mornings. Saturday marks 20 years since the 9-11 terror attacks, and some of the victims' families are still demanding answers from the government. 15 of the 19 hijackers were Saudi nationals, and many family members believe there is a connection between Saudi leadership and the attackers. Last week, President Biden ordered the review and possible release of classified documents related to 9-11. And CBS News spoke exclusively with a retired FBI agent who was part of a still-secret investigation into the hijacker support network inside the U.S. and the possible role of Saudi government officials and employees. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge has the story. This summer, Brett Eagleson went to Capitol Hill to press the U.S. government to release secret files from the FBI's 9-11 case. We've told the sad story for 19 years. You know, we've cried on camera. Eagleson's father, Bruce, worked in and died in the South Tower of the World Trade Center. Now grief has turned to rage. You know, it's not about that anymore. It's about how we're angry. We're pissed off. It is painful. The Eaglesons and other 9-11 families want details of a secret FBI investigation codenamed Operation Encore, centered on the two hijackers that lived in San Diego. It's a 10-year-long investigation that specifically investigated the role that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia played in supporting the hijackers. Is that the first mosque they went to in San Diego? This is it right here on our left. Danny Gonzalez was an FBI agent who worked on Operation Encore. He showed us the neighborhood the hijackers lived in before they crashed American Airlines Flight 77 into the Pentagon. This is Gonzalez's first television interview about the case. 19 hijackers cannot commit 3,000 mass murders by themselves. Based on what you found, do you believe there was a domestic support network for the hijackers? Obviously. No question. But I can't, I can't comment on it, but you don't have to be an FBI agent with 26 years of, of experience to figure that out. Gonzalez says the two hijackers, Nawaf al-Hazmi and Khalid Almadar, were helped by a number of Saudis, including Omar al-Bayoumi. Bayoumi worked for the Saudi government in California and has said he simply ran into the two hijackers at a restaurant in Los Angeles and encouraged them to move to San Diego. And this is the building he, he lived in. There, he helped them find an apartment and open a bank account. The two hijackers even started flight school nearby can't sit on the sidelines when I know the truth. Gonzalez says he's under FBI orders not to talk about certain aspects of Operation Encore because of national security concerns, as is another former agent, Ken Williams, who wrote a memo before 9-11 warning terrorists were taking flight lessons in Arizona. Both men are now working as investigators for the families. The evidence is there. I've seen it, but I can't get into specifics because of the protective order. In a statement, the Saudis said they had nothing to do with this terrible crime, and they support the full declassification of any documents. Under President Biden's executive order, some of the secret files must be reviewed by Saturday, the 20th anniversary of the attacks. We are writing history as we speak, and it's my goal that when my daughter goes to school, when she's taught the subject, that we get it right. For CBS Mornings, I'm Katherine Herridge. This was a very big deal right after 9-11. Yes. There were huge questions. And now 20 years later, it's hard to justify keeping those documents classified for right. sources and methods reasons. If they remain classified, I think that needs to be explained. And Tony, there are still so many questions. Oh, and those families want know. answers. And the more you hear, the more mysterious it answers. is. It's very upsetting.